Telat Pasha was assassinated in Berlin on 15 March 1921. He had been a member of the military three-man junta known as the Three Pashas, which controlled the Ottoman Empire. As Minister of the Interior and holding the equivalent rank of Prime Minister known then as Grand Wizir, he played a major role in the Armenian Genocide. After the end of World War I he had escaped from Turkey. A Turkish court sentenced him to death in absentia on 5 July 1919. He was one of a number of Ottoman officials deemed responsible for the genocide, and were killed between 1920 and 1922 by the Armenian Revolutionary Federation. The assassin was a 24-year-old Armenian student Sogoman Telerian. Telerian had been a member of a shooting club and was considered to be a good shot. British intelligence knew that Talat Pasha was in Berlin. Earlier in 1921 they had spoken to him in Ham and Dusseldorf. He threatened to foment Muslim uprisings throughout the Middle East if Turkey did not get a good deal at the peace table. Then British intelligence service contacted the intelligence services of the Soviet Union to evaluate the situation, as this also affected them. Talat Pasha's plans made the Soviet officials as anxious as the British. The two intelligence services collaborated and agreed to kill him. They decided that Armenian revolutionaries should do the assassination and passed their information on to them. Talat Pasha was living at Hardenbergstrasse 4, in the Charlottenburg district of Berlin. Tellerian rented an apartment near his house so that he could watch his everyday routine. On the morning of 15 March 1921, Tellerian followed Talat as he left his house on Hardenbergstrasse. He crossed the street to look at him from the opposite side, then crossed it again to walk past him to confirm his identity. He then turned around and pointed his luger to shoot him in the nape of the neck. Talat dropped dead. The agreement amongst the hit squad was for him not to try to escape. As it happened, it would not have managed anyway as passers-by jumped on him and held him until the police could take him away. Tellerian was tried for murder. He was represented by Dr. Theodore Nimaya, professor of law at Kiel University. Support at the trial for him came from various eyewitnesses. German General Otto Limon von Sanders had commanded an army in the Ottoman Empire during the war. Johannes Lepsius had witnessed the aftermath of massacres and had written, report on the situation of the Armenian people in Turkey and the way to death of the Armenian people. Grigoris Balikian, a bishop of the Armenian Apostolic Church, had survived and documented the Armenian genocide also spoke up for Tellerian. The defense lawyers made no attempt to deny that Tellerian had killed Pasha, and instead focused on the influence of the Armenian genocide on his mental state. Tellerian claimed during the trial that he had been present in Erzanjan in 1915 and had been deported along with his family and personally witnessed their murder. When asked by the judge if he felt any sort of guilt, Tellerian remarked, I do not consider myself guilty because my conscience is clear. I have killed a man. But I am not a murderer. It took the jury slightly over an hour to render a verdict of not guilty. Was he right to take the law into his own hands, or should the legal process have been followed? What do you think? Write your opinions in the comments section below.